Hello again. Today we're going to do another poetry reading and dissection from my second poetry book titled X. By the way, this is just a little note that I put on the top of my book. I intend to put it in one of those street libraries so someone very special can pick it up and hopefully read it and enjoy it. I'm going to read Limit. If you do have the hardback version, I'm reading from page 67. Go beyond the fears and limitations of others. Ignore whoever says you can't. Ask them why. They'll just tell you again that you can't. They think they know the answer, projecting their self-induced fears. Fear of their own trials. Fear of their own lives. Or maybe it was something they wished they did, but came to regret they never tried. Either way, it doesn't matter. Don't let them stop you. Because you know your heart, and it doesn't stop on a whim. It beats until your final breath. And when you finally do it, they'll ask you how. I love this entry. I feel like I say that about all the entries that I read, but I do. I love them. I love them all. Otherwise, it, you know, I wouldn't have published it, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> let's begin dissecting from the first paragraph. Go beyond the fears and limitations of others. Ignore whoever says you can't. So I'm basically starting the entry by saying this is what it's going to be about. I don't want you to be afraid. I don't want you to place limitations that other people place on themselves on you. Ignore whoever says you can't. So again, other people have very different perspectives, especially someone who tends to be or likes to be, prefers to be positive. There can be a lot of negativity. So people who consistently try to put you down or instill fear in you or put limitations on you or tell you you can't, ignore it. Just pretend you don't hear it. What? <laughs> Second paragraph is me trying to make sense of why they're saying that I can't. When someone says, oh, you can't do that, it's me thinking that it could be, oh, they're trying to warn me that I might hurt myself. Something like that. So ask them why, they'll just tell you again that you can't. In a way, I'm saying they don't even know why I can't. They're just telling me that I can't because maybe they just don't want me to. They think they know the answer, projecting their self-induced fears, fear of their own trials, fear of their own lives. So there's the answer in the third paragraph. When you ask them, they say you can't, they think they know the answer, but they're really just projecting whatever they have experienced in their life, their own fears of their own trials and their own fears of their experiences and whatever has happened in their life. Continue. Maybe it was something they wished they did, but came to regret they never tried. Either way, it doesn't matter. So again, it's just supporting the previous paragraph saying that, yeah, it is probably something that they wanted to try, realized they're too old, that they are unable to do it for whichever reason and regretted that, that they never tried. Either way, it doesn't matter because it doesn't, it really doesn't. <laughs> Don't let them stop you. The fact that I keep saying in here, projecting their self-induced fears, came to regret they never tried, something they wished they did. It's me basically in the entry, saying so many times different ways that people are gonna say no to you or that you can't do something because of their experiences and their negativity. The persistence and the amount of times that they continue to repeat it is again something that I'm trying to portray in this entry. The amount of times I keep repeating the lines in different ways. Don't let them stop you. Don't let them stop you because you know your heart. Who else can tell you what else is in here? Only you. And it doesn't stop on a whim. It beats until your final breath. What I'm saying here is it won't stop because someone else says stop. It keeps beating until your final breath. So do not have anybody else's regret on your life. Keep doing what you want to do. Keep doing what you're passionate about. Do not let other people's fears affect you. Favorite part of the entry? <laughs> and when you finally do it, they'll ask you how. So again, after all that persistence and negativity of them saying, this is why you can't do it. This is why you shouldn't do it. Oh my gosh, you should be scared. Don't do it. And me saying, don't let anybody stop you. It finally comes to a close. The last line, I just, I, I love it because it says, 
And when you finally do it, they'll ask you how. I'm not even giving the reader a choice here. I'm saying when you finally do it. I'm not saying if you do it. I'm saying when you do it. Because I am trying to instill a mentality that I have tried so hard to maintain myself. Do not let anybody else's fears, any negativity to infiltrate your mindset, infiltrate your passions, or stop you from doing anything that you are, again, passionate about or want to achieve in your life. Because the only person that will regret that one day is you. So, when you finally do it, they will ask you how. Because they couldn't do it. Do you get what I'm... <laughs> Basically, people are going to keep persisting about things. And something else that I also learned that I was trying to, in a way, say it without saying it, is when you tell people your ideas and your passions and the things that you want to achieve in life, you will have people who are really supportive and really positive about it and you will have the complete opposite. So sometimes I think you should also be very careful who you tell your ideas and your passions to because of this reason. But when you are faced with people who are like this, do not let them stop you. <sighs> Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the reading and dissection. If you are interested, my poetry books are all available on my website or on Amazon. I put the links in the description down below. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye! In itself shows you. Oh gosh, I just got makeup on this. You're a lucky person whoever picks this up. <laughs>